before the dinosaurs, something else ruled the Earth. This creature wasn't just a predator. It was a walking nightmare. Imagine a world 260 million years ago. The air is thick, the sun is harsh, giant amphibians crowd the rivers, but on land, one beast stands alone. It's a Gorgonopsian. Picture a saber-toothed tiger, but bigger, meaner, and way, way older. It had the body of a bear, the head of a reptile, and fangs the size of railroad spikes. Its name means Gorgon Face, named after the mythical monster whose gaze turned men to stone. And for good reason, nothing escaped it. This wasn't a slow, clumsy reptile. The Gorgonopsian was a synapsid, more closely related to us mammals than to dinosaurs. This gave it a terrifying advantage. It was warm-blooded, a high-speed engine of destruction in a slow-moving world. While other creatures became sluggish at night, the Gorgonopsian was just getting started, its eyes glowing in the Permian darkness. It could run down anything on four legs. Its powerful jaws didn't just bite, they crushed, one strike, and it was over. But here's the twist. This apex predator, this king of its time, wasn't taken down by a bigger monster. It was wiped out by the planet itself. The Great Dying, the largest extinction event in Earth's history, began. Volcanoes erupted for a million years, choking the sky with ash and gas. The air turned toxic. The oceans turned to acid. 90% of all life on Earth vanished. The Gorgonopsian, the ultimate hunter, saw its world crumble. Its prey disappeared. The air it breathed became poison. It fought for survival on a dying planet. This unstoppable force of nature starved and suffocated, watching its kingdom turn to dust. The reign of the first great land monster was over. But its extinction cleared the way for something new, something even bigger. The age of dinosaurs was about to begin.